Hello and welcome to DrupalDude.com. Today I'm going to show you how comments work in Drupal. You can see here on my uh, first post, scroll down here, I have three different comments on here and they're threaded. So let's get to it here. I go to administer, the first thing you have to do is make sure that they're on. And they're on by default, um, but if you go to the modules here you'll see comment and it's checked. So now modules are on, ready to go. When you first turn them on, they have a, some default settings and we'll go to those here. In the content management is where you set everything up here. So we have comments here. And here are the three comments that I have put in the system. You have an approval queue. You can set it up to where people, you know, when people post a comment, you have to approve it. And they'll show up here. And I'll show you how. I'll, I'll put one in here so you can see how that works. And then you have settings where you have actually all the different settings for the comments, how they're viewed, um, if anonymous people have to leave contact information, things like that. So that's just a general overview of the comments. The other thing that you have to do is you have to go into the user management and apply access control. By default, an authenticated user here, someone that is signed in, they can access the comments, they can post comments, and they can post comments without approval. Right now, an anonymous person cannot see the comments and they cannot post comments. And you'll see here, if I go to Firefox, I'm in Firefox here. It says here you are not authorized to view comments. I was trying something there. So we'll go to first post. You'll see there's no comments. I'm not logged in no comments. If I go here to access comments and I'm gonna say an anonymous person can post comments but I'm not checking without approval so they'll have, I will have to approve them. Let's save permissions and I refresh and I'm in Firefox again you'll see that the comments are there and I can reply to them. So let's reply. I reply to comment from um, Firefox. And we'll just grab some text here, put it there, preview the comment, and post. Your comment has been queued for moderation by the site administrator and will be published after approval. So this comment is not going to go live until I, the administrator, approve it. And that's all set up, again, now I'm in Safari here, that's all set up through the access control right down here. Now let's go back to content management and we go to comments. Again, here are the three comments that I have on here. If I go to the approval queue, you'll see here, there's my reply from Firefox. I want to approve it, so I'm going to publish it. I can also delete it if I wanted to hit update and now you see I have four comments in there. Now if I go back to Firefox where I'm not logged in you'll see I have here reply to comment from Firefox. So the access control again just to reiterate allows you know you can set certain roles up to be able to comment to see the comments and to post comments without approval if you wanted to. Now let's go into some of the settings. So back in Safari, and we'll go to comments here, and we'll go to settings. We have some different settings here. Basically what we have here is how we can view the comments, and we have some posting settings. We'll go over the view options here first. You have a flat list, a flat list expanded, a threaded list, and a threaded list expanded. Basically a flat list is where all the comments are over to the left. They're not threaded. You can't, when I reply to a comment, right now they're threaded. You'll see that it was slightly indented. Flat list, it's just a flat, just flush left. Collapsed and expanded, the difference between those are collapsed is all you're going to see is the title. You're not going to see the comment itself. So if I wanted to go flat list collapsed, when I view these comments here, go back into Firefox, you see right now they're threaded. What's going to happen is they're all flush left and all I see is the title. I have to actually click on it 
to see the comet. So that's the difference between the different settings there. And you can just play around with them and see which, which view you like best. Go back to threaded. You can sort by the newest first or the oldest first, how many comments you want on a page. And then this last one here in the viewing is the comment controls. This one I don't see used too often, but what it does is it allows the viewer to decide how they want to view it. So let's turn it on here. And basically what it does is it puts all of those view options to the reader. If I refresh here, oops, let's try it again. Go first post. Now you can actually see, I'm in Firefox again, you can actually see that I can choose how I want it. Let's go flat list expanded. Scroll down. Now you can see they're all flush left and they're all expanded. And this is up to, like say, the viewer. I'm just, um, let's see here, I'm just viewing it. I'm not an administrator or anything like that. Uh, let's go with flat with threaded list collapsed. You can see so that is, back in Safari here, the controls, that is the comment controls. And you can have it display above the comments, below the comments, or above and below the comments. I'm going to have it do not display. Now we get into the posting settings. Since I allowed in the access control, I allowed people, anonymous people to post comments, I can actually choose do I want them to enter their contact, contact information, which is their name and email. Do I not want them to or do I make it optional? I personally, if you're going to allow anonymous people to post, I would say they must leave their contact information. And show you what happens there. Back in Safari, I'm going to leave a new comment. Now you can see what it did is it left where I have to put my name and my email and you can see they have the little asterisk there it's required and it'll still go in the approval queue and all that but this puts a little bit of a stopper on it the proper way is to use like a capture or something like that and I'll have that on a later post of how you can do that for anonymous people um, but this kind of puts a little bit of a stopper on it just doesn't allow anybody to post anything they want um, they do have to enter in an email address and a name so that's down here, the anonymous commenting. The subject field, right now, we'll go back over here to, to Firefox. You can see I can actually put my own subject in there. You can say, I don't want people to put their own subject in there. I want it to be the subject of the actual node or story or article. If you want it to be that way, disabled. Now people cannot leave their own subject. It will pull the subject from the node. Preview the comment on by default, where they actually have to preview what they comment before they submit it. And then you have the location of the comment submission form. Do you want it listed on a separate page, or do you want it below the comments, the actual submission form? So that's the comment section of Drupal. You can see it's pretty powerful. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, a lot of different options with viewing and how it handles with anonymous people. Um, pretty robust little system and uh, all you have to do is just turn it on and by default anonymous people are not allowed to um, post. You can actually just turn it on and let it go and it's it's uh, it's pretty pretty good actually. Um, I've not had any issues with it. Uh, I think it I think it works great. Anyway that's the um, that's the comment section in Drupal, and we'll see you next time on DrupalDude.com.